It's my birthday! <laughs> to my channel today I'm gonna show you how I got this look right here I don't know what I'm gonna call it but it's a burgundy sort of halo eye it is my birthday dinner so this is the look I went for um, thank you so much for joining me please don't forget to hit the little red button down below to subscribe to my channel please follow me on Instagram give me a thumbs up leave me a cool comment down below tell me what you want to see next I love you guys so so much thank you for all the love always Let's get straight into this video. <laughs> Please excuse my hair because um, I just curled it. I'm going to dress it out after I'm done with this makeup look. So starting off, I am using these eye pad things from Mystic Beauty. So it's just going to hydrate my under eye areas. But it's also going to act as a eyeshadow shield. So if I have any fallout. Up, I'm actually just priming my lids using my Pro Longwear Concealer by MAC and I'm just gonna go in and place it onto my lids and then just blend that up Set that um, eyelid concealer I'm gonna use the shade right here from the Slays for Days MAC palette so this is just a light um, shade and I'm just gonna pack that onto this eye. Off with the unicorn sauce. Off with a light shade that I can use as a transition shade. I'm starting off straight away with the red. <sighs> so I'm just picking that up with a fluffy brush and I am going to place that in my crease. Whatever I'm doing on my lids, I'm doing it on my lower lash line as well. So I'm just running the shade on my lower lash line. We're going to start off and this look is going to look so messy, but I promise you it's going to be beautiful once we're done. Back into this palette, I'm going to use this darker red and a dome shape fluffy brush. Just picking up quite a bit of product and I'm going to place that on this crease bone. So there's a bone right right here and that is where I'm putting the shade. The Galaxy Co palette and I'm picking up the same brush but I'm going to use this maroon shade right here. I really want this to be the main color in that crease. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing and place this maroon on top of the shade. To really, really just deepen up my crease area. Picking up more product. I'm going to repeat that. It's not coming up on camera the way I would like it to, but I can really see the different tones and um, by doing this I'm adding a lot of depth into my crease. So I'm happy with that sort of look, I'm going to pick up a really really tiny blending brush, so something like this, and I'm going to take this sort of orangey, peachy shade. And I'm going to use this tiny brush and this shade to blend out the edge of this eyeshadow. And I'm just working with a little bit of product at a time in small sections and just blending this out. Gosh, I'm really really liking the way this looks in reality. On camera, it's really just not picking it up. Oh. Why guys, why? sealer again. I'm going to be very careful when I do this and I'm just going to use the concealer to clean up my actual lid area. So I'm just, I'm not really cutting my crease as per se. I'm just cleaning up the lid area and just giving myself an area to play with um, for the next few shades that I'm doing. 
I'm just taking my time and working on this. Taking a shade like this, which is a sparkly sort of burgundy shade, and I'm going to just pop that on my outer corner and my inner corner. And I'm making sure just to keep it quite low and not going um, into the crease area. And then I'm going to take my brush and then just join the two colors, but quite, quite low, as you can see. Um, off my eyelid, I want to go in with the shimmer. So I'm going to use this Diamond Dust Cosmetics little pigment and I'm going to mix it with the potion to make like a metallic color. I will leave the name of this color in the description box. I think it's called Handy Plus, but I'm not too sure a really really small brush I'm going to put this color exactly where I want it to go tiny angle brush and the same color that's on my crease I'm just gonna take this angle brush and run it along the shade to make sure that this golden shade just pops and makes it look like it is even more cut than it actually is. Stunning palette I'm using this shade right here which has a slight shimmer to it I'm putting that on my outer edge and my inner edge and then I'm just flipping the brush over because as you can see, I have that other shade on it and I'm just blending these two shades. Basically, done with this eye look. I can see it coming together pretty, pretty well. Once I clean it up, you'll see it too. But I'm just taking a fluffy blending brush and I'm just blending out all the edges of this look because I really, really want it to be quite seamless. Okay. Going in with my clearance eyeliner as always on my lower lash line and my waterline on top. And then I'm going to use this Volume Hero Mascara in Power Black by Essence. It is new, I picked it up the other day. And I'm going to move on to my face. I will apply lashes, but once I'm done with everything. Hey guys, did you really think that I was going to do a birthday look without glitter? Yeah. So I'm going to go in with this NOX Beauty Glitter. So this is like a purplish. Um, shade but it's pretty close to a red to me and the color is called plum so it's definitely not red <laughs> um, pinkish purple I'm just gonna pick that up with a flat brush and I'm gonna run that along my lower lash line my Kiki Beauty uh, makeup ready primer as always I'm just putting quite a nice amount of this onto my face and making sure to let it absorb into my skin pretty well before I go in with foundation I'm using my Creolin palette and I'm going to sort of skip through this foundation quite quickly. I'm going to use the entire palette for my foundation, concealer, and contour. But you guys sort of know how I do my foundation and base routine now. So this is going to go pretty fast. I'm my entire face in place I'm using the Switch Beauty MAC Bounce Powder and then I'm gonna go over the areas I contoured with my Hula Bronzer.
I'm going in with the NARS Orgasm Blush just on the apples of my cheeks. It is such a pretty pink with such a beautiful shimmer on it. I definitely should have done this before I went in with powder, but uh, oops. <laughs> oh, to highlight, we're gonna glow like a goddess right now, aren't we? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. I use my fingers to get the cream product onto my skin and I just place this on the highest part of my cheekbone. <laughs> yes. The nose. Keep that a little then going in with slash slay shells it's not say shells <laughs> with a fluffy eyeshadow blending brush i'm going to go over all those areas wow Everything in place. I'm using the Kiki Beauty Rose Juice Setting Spray, and then I'm gonna go in with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Put my lashes on off camera. I'm using the Line Spring Vault Series, and I'm gonna use these lashes right here. Right. Guys, so I just put on my lashes. They are so so pretty. And I'm using the lipstick uh, Liquid Lippy by Stila. It's called Beso. So this is my final look. I also just did my hair. Um, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like this video, leave me a comment down below if you have any video suggestions. And until we meet again, I love you lots. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Hey. So it. Uh, like <laughs> palettes and I'm actually doing something a little bit different I normally start off with like a light transition trans she into I look so crazy on camera it's so funny foundation to you uh, blah, 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 blah. well fine